this is a very, very, very simple web page, uh, which you can, uh, the code for it, you can actually find it here. I'll share it in the chat. You can find the code for this on this on, on, on this link, so on GitHub. So on our official 46LX GitHub. Um, this is very easy to set up if you look at our previous videos where we dealt with uh, building a server on DigitalOcean. So all you need to do, and I will link the actual links for the, I will give you the actual links for the talks where we talked about and um, actually showed how you can do the changes, um, how you can build a web server of your own. So when you build a web server, all you need to do is actually copy paste this code, make minimal modifications on it, and you will be able to uh, actually run this. So I will show you the code. So uh, basically boils down to you changing this unique number. Why? We'll get back to it later, but it uh, has to do something with us knowing what what exactly what number do you mean? Because you can buy a number through forty six elks, but um, if we get some information, some text on that number, then we need to know where to put it. We need to know where to forward it. So uh, it is basically it is a way of us having that URL where we make an HTTP POST request and. Um, to the ver whatever URL you have given us. So we actually send you that data in that, uh, that way. Uh, this is a unique uh, string. So you create a unique SMS URL. Basically what we are trying to do right now is have set up a basic like website, website where you or your client can track all of the messages that he or she got on a certain number. So what I'm saying is, you don't have to, uh, to build that communication channel and to help out uh, your clients get a better ways of communicating with their end clients. Uh, building an app could be very simplistic, but uh, using um, channel, the channel that we are using is actually an SMS. SMS is a form of communication that everyone has on their phones. So like the point is not to uh, overcomplicate and put layers of complication on uh, complexities on um, and make it a burden for your client. Because if you were to suggest building a very complicated app, for example, a mobile app, then that brings extra layer of costs and complexities of having to update that app, et cetera. And you're... For, you're in the stages where you need to need to figure out that communication between you and your client. And perhaps a better way of doing things is by going about and just trying this for instance. Yeah. So you can actually define what people, what, what uh, numbers will be recognized as certain names. I will demonstrate. I put it, had put it, put in my number here. So in that application, so you can see, you will see that my name comes up when I send an SMS. And uh, you can define the HTML, how it will look. It says SMS wall for uh, that specific number. And it's just uh, that. So I tweaked it a little bit. So you can see here, we have reservations today. So a restaurant tells you and asks you to help them out with the reservations. So you as a developer are going to be able to help them by running a simple LAMP server and putting this code that I had provided and just uh, basically tweaking the code a little bit. You run this on their computer, like ordinary computer that has access to the internet, point it to your web server and uh, you will get this uh, web page. And it can be placed in some place in the office and people uh, that work there can be alerted and can see exactly what's going on. This doesn't have to be used for reservations. So it can be used for comments. So you can actually take a number and put it somewhere and let people comment on something. And someone from 
uh, someone will be able to see those messages. I've used this to be able to get questions from the audience if I ho ho hold a lecture somewhere. So it's a big audience, non, not everyone has a mic, and you give them a voice by providing the uh, number and people send an SMS to that number and then it gets projected on a screen like this. So I will test and send an SMS right now. So I had tested it before, but you can take a look at it here. So I will send this test message on this number, click send. And I think that this will appear right away. Yes. So it says test from Rene. Uh, it says um, it, it, my name is here because I had put it so in the code uh, and had tweaked a little bit. But same applies for anything. Uh, you can uh, you can have you can have it so that you display it uh, very publicly, and people will be able to kind of take a look at it and uh, uh, get the information that they need. 